Jump up. Wow, that is big. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Oh God, Woody Russell. Next thing you know, then people come cross me, tell me I play in their music for my life. Anyhow, people, what's going on, everybody? I am just here. Yeah, look at this big zit. I have two nitty zitties. And the thing is, there's nothing inside them. It's just zit. Like, there's no pus, there's no nothing. It's just fucking zit, man. You ever had them ones there that just did nothing inside it? I like, I went to get the vacuum cleaner to suck out this zit, suck out that one. Anyhow, I wanted to um, say something quick because, you know, um, hi, first time viewer Aaliyah. Because, you know, the other day I said something about Kim Kardashian and the Kardashian's pussy. So people were messaging me today and they were talking about fat shaming. Or, sorry, not fat shaming. There's so much shaming things. Ratty, big up yourself. Slut shaming. How I slut shaming Kim Kardashian, and that's not nice. Now, listen, right? Let me tell one of something. I get it real fucking tired of one of Russell emotional fucking people out here trying to dictate how people are supposed to respond to people and when they're in beef or in bacchanal and whatever. I live, love, laugh, first time viewer as well. Right, put all on them. I'll try it. They just want to bust him. So, Kim Kardashian comes and claims braids. And then uh, you could cuss her back, but you can't cuss her about being a slut. You, you can't slut shame her. You know, I, 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 I don't understand this. You, if you are sensitive about any particular topic, whether it's being overweight, whether it's being illiterate, this one is why actually I've changed um, my whole brand blog because Caribbean especially people this fucking illiteracy thing is driving me crazy it's like you illiterate right we don't care if you're literate or illiterate we we we, we like let me be the one to tell you we don't care if you are illiterate I'm going to be doing a very big blog on this. I, I hand over the governor torch. But we don't care if you are illiterate. We don't care if you're fat. We don't care if you are a slut. All of these things. But when you try to roll up on motherfuckers that got that verbal assaultery, you can get hit with that there. So here's how we can handle this. You, who illiterate, overweight, you're a whore, Leave people the fuck alone when you see them going along their merry way. But when you feel that you can tackle people, just know that people can tackle you back. And I don't know where the hell this mentality come from that you can't say back to things. A woman come on Kevin's Facebook page and tell she I look like a horse. I say that she neck big as Russell, that she's a big neck cunt. And that she does waddle to go to piss. Right? That then probably ain't got no porter potty big enough to hold she. She went on her page and said, I fat shame her. 
and that she struggled with she weight from the age of 13. Well, if you're struggling with you weight from the age of 13, why the fuck you gonna come and come cuss with somebody like Ross or me for that gonna fuck up you? Why wanna just do this? Why? Why wanna just go and put one of cells against people that gonna fucking hurt your feelings? Just shut up. You see a post that you don't like? Pass the fucking post. Because Randall might not, and these people, when they lash back in your wrestle, you can't can handle it, man. Stop this fuckery, man. Kim Kardashian gone and expose herself naked and she do all kind of things. She can get slut shame because she history is of, of being a fucking slut. They can slut shame her. If she was in a church outfit and they said something about her being a slut, that would be different. But she come up with she pokey, with she pokey camel toe lean, she flat camel toe. She come up with she nipples covered. They gonna slap, they gonna fucking slut shame her. That is what gonna happen. What the rascal is be wrong with y'all people? What the actual fuck? You come out naked and you don't want nobody to call you no names. Put on clothes when you left your asshole house then. If you got on a Muslim wrap and you clothes from head to toe and somebody call you a slut, handle them. But if you come out your house with your pokey at the fucking door, you come out with your breath at the door and somebody call you a slut, you talking about Amber Rose. Let me tell one of something. You see Amber Rose and Kim Kardashian and them, these People are one in a billion. Sluts don't fucking make it out here. Sluts just get foop and spelt way. That is how them just get treat, okay? Let me be the first to tell you. Sluts don't make it. You are not going to fuck somebody and end up to be a Kim Kardashian. You are not going to fuck somebody and end up to be an Amber Rose. They got Kim Kardashian, Amber Rose, Black China, and you notice all of them share a man. Do not get caught up with these people talking about slut shaming. You as a woman do not need to go and fuck a hundred men. Find one man and fuck him a hundred times. And stop letting these rascal ignorant people dilute your mind into cunt about slut shaming. There is nothing positive in life about being a slut. There is nothing positive about running around and fucking a hundred men. Fuck one man a hundred times. But stop letting these cunt whore women that fucking let them pussy work for them. 99.999% of you pussy ain't gonna work for you. 99.99999% of you, your pussy ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. There's 7 billion and something plus people on this planet. That's 3.5 billion women. Your pussy isn't going to work. Go to fucking school. There will be people that are telling you shit about, oh, um, you got CXCs and then you ain't getting a job yet. You can get a job. You might not get a job at 25. You might not get a job at 30. But when you're 40, you can get a job. But the worst thing in life is to go out there now and you don't have no education. And then you get to get a job and you can't get it because you don't have the education. Stop letting these ignorant cunts direct one of fucking lies. If you fat and you got problems with being fat, hush your asshole under people posts. Don't go calling nobody ugly. Don't go go calling nobody this and that when you know that when they talk about your big neck cunt, you gonna cry. Leave people fucking alone. Come on Facebook and see what your godchildren doing. Like them posts and like them status. Go on people like Gary Vaynerchuk page and go and get some inspiration and left rassle people alone. Because ignorant fucking people like me, I ain't got no feelings. I can tell you about your mother. I can tell you about every rassle out here. I have zero feelings i have been a blogger for eight years my face big i am six foot tall i ain't gonna have the face size of a woman who's five foot one yeah you want to call my face big when i head butt you and fucking person you're gonna understand what a big head cunt like me does do to people I try to re i try to reform and make this blogging thing but you all fucking stupid Leave people alone. 
And if you have a problem with yourself, your nose big, your forehead big, and you got talk for people, mumble it like mumble rap. Go and get Migos. Go and buy Migos culture too and learn how to mumble. I get bars in Atlanta and I remember them fucking man. That's what you used to fucking do when you see people on Russell Facebook. And you see them don't look good, don't talk about them. You see Beyonce child, don't say nothing about Beyonce child. Because God blame when your kid come, kid come out looking like Elf mixed with Godzilla, mixed with Spongebob, you can be walking about, my kid cute, right? And if they say that your kid look like Spongebob, you can cry. Leave people alone. That's all I got to tell one a man. Everything has been like, oh, you can't say this. If you a slut, keep your fucking cunt quiet. Leave people alone. If you got problems, if you're dyslexic, don't trouble people. If you cannot read nor write, don't trouble people. For the life of me, you want to get in a conversation with me who have three university degrees about literacy. Then when I humble your cunt, you're talking about eyes of show off. Keep rough and round rats on me. Listen to me. They got degrees of cunts, right? I am a full cunt. You see them plastic pokies people buying? I like 10 tons of a plastic vagina. Leave me alone. Because I can tell you something. And I'm very quick on the draw with my words. I am very fast. My father never let me read like, 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 you know, the cat and the hat and them things. My brother and I had to read encyclopedias and dictionaries. I very quick on the draw with words. I am very good with analogies. Don't talk about me because I'm going to say something back to you. I am from Crab Hill, St. Lucy, Diamond Corner, St. Peter. Country people are petty. We have fucking time. And on certain days, when I'm on a conference call, and I chilling, and you come and comment some dumb cunt, I can fuck up you. Country people got to take bus home in Barbados for two hours and thing. I got patience to deal with your rascal. Most Bajans can fuck up you. And what you don't understand about Bajans is they can come back for you later. Because a Bajan might be busy when them see you talk cunt. And they can be like, what? Hold on. She say what? I can deal with she later. Three days later, she can come back and manhandle your asshole. Leave people alone. I am a 10-ton plastic pokey. 10-ton plastic pussy. 10-ton plastic pussy hole. You want to need to stop it. Stop. You don't have to comment on every fucking status that you see. You don't have to comment on every situation that you see. And what hurts me is a lot of you think you literate. And you illiterate as cunt. And you swear to God in your mind that you literate. And you don't know the difference between they are, there, and there. You don't know the difference between two, and two, and two. You don't know the fucking difference between uh, condolences on your loss. The f next motherfucker that I see condolences on your lost, L-O-S-T, I swear to you, I can come and b milk your goat and sink your boat. How do you not know the difference between lost and loss? And then you want to come on people's status like with big fucking heavyweight artillery dictionary people like me. And then come talk to me about literacy. But you telling somebody, condolences on your lost. You need to get lost. That's all I had to say today. Fucking slut shaming. Don't slut shame people. Slut shame them. If somebody come and fuck wrong you and they pussy loose and they foot boat, slut shame the rascal. That's how we just got to drop it. We making people sensitive in these times and then on top of that, they getting fucking unstable and doing a lot of cunt. If these people need to know to stop fucking wrong from day one, tell them stop fucking wrong rascal people. Stop it. You're not built to tech on people. This, 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 this pussy hole mentality that social media creating that you're going to hide behind a keyboard. Stop it. 
Because somebody can tell you something and hurt your feelings, and then that's when you're going to start drinking a whole bunch of alcohol and taking Percocet and all kind of rascal. Listen, leave people alone. Somebody posts something and you like it. Nice post, Babsy. If Babsy posts, cut. Shit, Babsy. If you had to go for psychiatric evaluation in the last 15 years, shift, Babsy. I am a Bajan who used to have to take the bus home. I used to have to take something called the Pie Corner Bus, Cabell Bus. You all don't know about them life day. You all don't know about them life day. One of town people don't know what a bus, Cabell, Connell Town, Josie Hill, Pie Corner Bus is. You don't know. You have enough time on your hands. I am petty when I feel like it. When I on my period and you see zits on my face, I am petty. I can fuck up your asshole. I is a 10 ton pussy hole plastic pussy. They got to name one of them plastic cunts behind me. Just try for 2018 to leave people alone. Leave people alone. And if you feel you could cuss, because a lot of you know about this mother cunt, and that is elementary school sandbox pitching marble cussing. Leave the heavyweight vocalists alone. People like me will manhandle you for fun and paint my nails and fuck up you for life. And a lot of you fellas, lately fellas, Please stop coming and trying to come for women on Facebook. Let me tell you something. If you get in a friggin' verbal assault conversation with me, you gonna have erectile dysfunction for weeks. Then you gonna got to call Dr. Oz. Then you gonna got to call Dr. Phil. Try and leave me alone, Dr. Babsy. Dr. Babsy is the, is it has a degree, has a PhD in cosology. I have a PhD in cosology. Say it with me, folks. I have a PhD in cussology. I don't have anger issues. I know what makes me mad. Dumbass cunts like you that comment and then cry piss me off. So stop making me mad. My anger is managed. You mismanaging my anger. Stop fucking around people like me. Then you wouldn't see us come and cuss and rant. You see me skanking in the snow? That's what we want to live like. We angry people, we want to control we anger. So stop being a cunt hole. And then people like me will never get angry. I had somebody call me on video call to come talk to me about Yogi Pharrell. Yogi Pharrell was in the mental before she got put in the mental this last time, you know. Oh, where's the evidence of that? Well, didn't you hear she mother? She mother say she went to the doctor three times for the year. So what did her mother say she went to the doctor for? She never say, but what you just go to the doctor for? If you're mental, you're going to the doctor. How the fuck do you jump from three doctor's appointments to she's mental? She could have had gonorrhea. She could have had anger management issues. She could have had a fucking ingrown toenail. How the fuck do you calculate that she was mental because she went to the doctor? How did... Yo... As a teacher in class, show me your work. Show me how you arrived at that fucking answer. Then now, when I call you a cunt, you upset and talking to me about politics in St. Vincent. I don't give a rascal about politics in St. Vincent. I want to know how you arrive at three doctor's appointments makes a person mental. Explain this to me. Show me your work. Write it out for me. Do the long division. You angry. Because you are a fucking asshole. How are you going to go and walk around and say that you give Pharrell mental because she went to the doctor three times? Show me medical reports. I ain't got none. What's the doctor's name that she went to? I ain't know. So how you know the girl mental? Because she mother say she went to the doctor. You fucking idiot. I know you want me to stay calm in these kind of situations. How you arrive at that? How? How the fuck, how did you get there? Look, ma'am, stop perplexing people. For 2018, there's a set of you, that miserable as cunt, stay over in the miserable cunt section of the party.
right? We in the happy people party. You stay in the miserable cunt section. We in the happy people side. That's how we would like to do it this year. You go so. Go so. Go rassle so. If you're stupid, stay silent. We have stupid friends. We have a lot of stupid friends. But they know them place and they just stay silent. You want to talk up? No. Just cook. If you dumb and can cook, we will still hang with you. If you dumb and can drive, we will hang with you. If you dumb and can sew, we will work with you. But if you dumb and you loud, we don't want Ross or you round us. Fuck off. Simple stuff, right? Anyhow, I just want to come talk about slut shaming, fat shaming, the shaming. Listen, if you have any shame in your game, keep your cunt quiet. That's all one is to wrestle do for 2018. Stay away from people if you are fucking shame or this or shame or that. You understand? I gone. Let me play my song. What song is this? You know what I'm saying, Peter Ram, full doors in the blogging. Please log in. Hey, Peter Ram, the girl that said I want to meet the Ram. They said I want to meet the Ram. Peter Ram. Hey. My new channel, video tomorrow, up, edited, everything, tomorrow. Plug that on your left, on your left, plug that on your right, anything that got deep up, social media is tight. Sing with me. Hey, 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 together we watching. alone.